I'm Kathleen Schaefer, and welcome to Tivana and the Graduate School of Political Management at George Washington University's leadership course. I'm Kathleen Schaefer, and I'm delighted to be with you today and to talk with you, you wonderful community activists in Iran who are interested in learning about leadership and how to create change in your country. Right now, what you're facing is an incredible challenge. And while it may feel that the challenges that you are facing are unique to you, and they are, they are also challenges that leaders have faced throughout history. And so for the next eight sections of this course, I'm going to be bringing to you the core elements of leadership as they have come to me and my work in the last 20 years with political leaders here in the United States and around the world. Everyone who decides to take on the mantle of leadership faces challenges. We all have our fears, we have our concerns, and for me, most importantly, what we have is the hope about the change that we can create in our communities, in our neighborhoods, in our country. And in Iran, it's never been more important than it is today. You all have the opportunity to do things differently, and that's what we're going to talk about, is how to do it differently. The leadership that I'm discussing today is not the kind of leadership that's been taught for centuries and centuries because we all know where that's gotten us to this point in history. What we're going to talk about today is the opportunity to do it differently, to do it in a more effective way, to learn from the lessons of the past and to know how we can create a more effective future for all of us, not just the people in Iran, the people for all of us throughout the world. So when we talk about leadership during this course, we're going to talk first about the people you have the chance and the choice to make a difference with immediately. And the first person that you have the opportunity to truly make a difference with is you. You are the leaders that will change Iran. You are the people that have the opportunity and the insight and the wisdom to do it differently. And the whole goal of our work together throughout this course is to provide you with some of the tools and insights that you can use to start creating that change right now, right here. And the first place that we're going to start with today is with you and with actually taking a look at leadership from an entirely different perspective. For me, the most important facet of leadership is about first understanding who you are. Traditionally, when people think about taking on leadership challenges, they think about how they're going to go out and interact with other people, how they're going to go out and get people to do things, how they're going to go out and make people see things their way. I'm going to suggest to you that the first step that needs to be taken is for you to truly understand who you are and to root all of the work that you are going to do from this point forward in your core values, in who you are as a person, in your talents, your strengths, and all the passion that you have and want to bring to creating change in your country. Your country needs you to do this. And too often what happens with leaders and what gets them off track is the fact that they don't know who they are when they go off into creating change and get into the political process because it batters them, it's going to be difficult, it's often challenging. And if it's not rooted in core values and in core understanding of who you are, it's too easy to get off track. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is, is how to manage that energy and who you are so that when you go out into the world, when you start creating that change, you don't lose sight of you. And that's the most important resource that you can bring. So let's talk a little bit about how you begin that process of understanding you. I know that each one of you is looking out across Iran right now, and you're seeing plenty of opportunities to create change. You walk through your neighborhood and you see something that you feel could be better. You're in the grocery store talking with your friends and neighbors, and you have discussions about issues or ideas or something that could be different. You see that need in your community, and that's the first spark of leadership. What I would ask you to begin thinking about is, what is it in you that connects to that piece about the change that you see that you want to create? Where are those core values? What is it that you want to do? And as you start to make those connections back to who you are, you're going to start to have ideas about how you create that plan. 
And we will talk about that in future sessions about creating that plan. What I'm asking you to observe right now is just how you are connecting to those things that you see that you want to change. What are those ideas? What are those passions that you have? Why is it that you see one issue as uh, one that you want to be involved with more than another? Start to observe that and start to take ownership of that and start to see how you really genuinely connect to that. Because as you walk through this process of change, it will be difficult. There will be barriers. There will be challenges. And ultimately, success and leadership comes from the courage to continue to walk through it. And that courage will come from continuing to be true to yourself and who you are and what you're about. We are going to, in the next couple of sections, talk about core values and how to identify those strengths in you. Thank <laughs> you.